Today I want to share with you six affirmations that have been life-changing for me. These are affirmations that I have taken on as beliefs that have just completely transformed my life, made me so much happier, so much more secure, so much more confident, and have just made this physical reality easier to navigate. Hello my love, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Leora Alexandra. Welcome to the baby elephant community on this channel. We talk about the law of attraction, spirituality, self-development, and so much more. Anything really that makes us our happiest, best version ever. Today I am spending time with my grandma. It is her birthday. She's the love of my life. So I'm just spending a day in her beautiful backyard. And this place is so beautiful. I have to come out here more often to record because it's just, look at this. Look at the columns we have over here with the leaves and the vines. It's just absolutely beautiful. I wanted to share that with you today. I also wanted to share with you my six affirmations that I have taken on into my life. And when I say taken on into my life, what I mean is I repeat them every single day and I've been repeating them every day for years and they have created so much change in my own personal life that I wanted to share them with you. Because at the end of the day, in order to live the best lives we possibly can, we have to make our beliefs work for us and not against us. And a great way to make that happen is by implementing affirmations into our lives. Affirmations are sayings that you repeat to yourself over and over again to rewire your neural pathways, the connections in your brain that make up your reality, that create the projection that is projected outside from your eyes and into physical reality. There are certain affirmations that are repeated so often by, and by so many people that they are considered mantras. Mantras have this power that because so many people repeat them with this specific energy, they have an actual innate power within them that activates when you repeat them over and over again. Now, your own affirmations can become your mantras. And when they do become your mantras, when you share them, and I'm going to share one affirmation that has become um, kind of like a sensation online right now. It's my friend Heather's uh, mantra, and I will repeat it for you towards the end of this video. When you repeat this, you tap into the collective energy from everybody else who has used this mantra as well. So you're not only manifesting for yourself, you're manifesting on the behalf of others as well. And you have your own intention amplified by the hundreds of other people who are using the same affirmation or the same mantra. Now there are very, there are many very, very famous mantras. You could look these up. Mimi, what would you say is a famous mantra? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One could say that my mantra at the end of my videos when I say keep your vibrations way, way up, a lot of you guys tell me that you repeat it with me and that it makes you happy and actually raises your vibrations to say it. Now that's because it's been repeated so many times and so many people have heard it and it's sunk into their uh, consciousness and their subconsciousness. So now it has a collective energy in it. So just saying it, you tap into that energy. Now I wanna share with you some of my favorite mantras or affirmations or beliefs you could say. And then I'm going to share with you some that you guys shared with me on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram already, I always ask for questions and for, I always ask you guys questions and I always answer questions on my stories over there. So I highly recommend following me. It's at Leora Alexandra. It'll be written right here and it'll be in the description below always. So now I will share six of my absolute most favorite affirmations. You can take these onto your own affirmation list and I really, I guarantee that they're going to just improve your life so much. They're going to make you so much happier, make your life so much easier. So my first one is one of my favorites and it is everywhere I go, I prosper. And I like this one because it's kind of like all encompassing. Everywhere you go in your life, you're going to do the absolute best you could ever do. Everywhere I go, I prosper. You repeat this over and over again and then you start seeing that literally wherever you go, whether it's work, school, your friend's house, anywhere you go, an event, wherever it is, the beach, a vacation, you're going to prosper, you're going to shine, you're going to do your very best because everywhere you go, you shine. Everywhere you go, you absolutely kill it, you succeed to another level and you prosper. Everywhere I go, I prosper. 
Repeat it with me. Everywhere I go, I prosper. My second one is, it might be a little bit more personal and more individual to me because other people may not have experienced difficulties with these two things in the past. But since I noticed in my own life that I'm always struggling with having enough time or having enough energy, I realized like, even these things, even having enough time, even having enough energy, those are belief systems. So I took on to myself the affirmation, I have more than enough time and more than enough energy. I have more than enough time and more than enough energy. This always gives me like a pep in my step. It always makes me realize that, you know, maybe in the afternoon when I'm having kind of a slump and I need more energy, I can have more energy just by repeating this affirmation. I have more than enough time and more than enough energy. When I tell myself this affirmation in the morning, when I have a huge to-do list, the things that I gotta get done, I tell myself I have more than enough time. I always somehow manage to finish everything I needed to do in half the time when I tell myself I have more than enough time. Then I have days when I'm like feeling like a, a victim, feeling bad for myself. I'm like, I have so much to do. How am I ever gonna finish this? I have to do this, I have to do that. I complain to everybody. Oh my God, I have so much to do. I can't see you. I can't do this, I can't do that. But all I really have to do is tell myself I have more than enough time and then suddenly time works, time warps in the, into this way where I suddenly have all this time to do everything I needed to do in one day. It's all a belief system, you guys. So I have more than enough time and more than enough energy. My next one is a really big one because this one will just set your life up to be in the absolute highest vibration. You will actually experience miracles because the next one is I am always experiencing miracles. I am always experiencing miracles. If you set up your life to always be experiencing miracles, if you expect to always receive a miracle, you will receive miracles. You'll have more money in your bank account that comes out of nowhere. Health will come to you miraculously and out of nowhere as well, effortlessly. You know, you'll run into the love of your, of your life. You'll get all these opportunities, all these incredible things that other people are like, what, that's a miracle. They will be second nature to you because you are always experiencing miracles. I am always experiencing miracles. Life, when it becomes more miraculous, it becomes a fairy tale. It becomes magical. And of course, bad things happen. We're meant to experience bad things in this physical reality because where we come from, we don't experience bad. So we came over here to experience contrast. However, you can manifest a life that is primarily miraculous because you are always experiencing miracles. My fourth affirmation that changed my life is one that I have recently started implementing. And the reason why I started implementing this one is because I have always been the type of person to be able to connect to people pretty easily. But since going through my awakening process, I've had kind of a wall up with people because I'm always thinking they're gonna think I'm weird, they're gonna think you know my beliefs are weird, or they're gonna judge me or something like that. I had to work through that. So I created my uh, an affirmation that would bring me back to who I used to be, but in a deeper sense. And that affirmation is, I connect to others easily and deeply. I say this before I go out into any social situation, and I kid you not, I have the most deep, the most meaningful connection, connective conversations with people, with people that I would have never expected to even click with. Suddenly we're talking about the meaning of life, our childhood, and all these really meaningful things. And I just have these relationships now and friendships that are so deep and so meaningful and I'm so grateful for them. But it really did come from repeating to myself over and over before so social situations. I connect to others easily and deeply. I connect to others easily and deeply. The fifth one just makes me feel so good, especially again before social situations or before I'm going to meet somebody that you know I'm going to work with or something like that. I like to, or someone that I want to become friends with or anything like that. This affirmation is absolutely magic. It is, I have magnetic contagious energy. I have magnetic and contagious energy. And whenever I repeat this to myself, I often find people actually talking to me and telling me, wow, your energy is so magnetic. Your energy is so contagious. I feel energetic just being around you. And I really got to give it up to this affirmation because that created those instances in my life. I have magnetic and contagious energy. The last one was actually given to me by Aaron when I talked to him about his favorite affirmations. He always repeats this one to me when he was doing my 
subconscious mind reprogramming. This is a really powerful one because again, it's kind of like everywhere I go, I prosper. It kind of is all encompassing. It sets you up for the best case scenario, which is interesting, an interesting phrase to use right now because of the next affirmation that I'm going to share. But this one is, I'm always at the right place at the right time. If you set up your life to always be at the right place at the right time, you're always going to gain something. You're always going to benefit from every situation you experience. Wherever you find yourself, it's going to be the right place and the right time. And something good is going to come out of it. Even if you don't see it in that direct moment, in that actual moment, you will see it in the future. Everything is always at the right time in the right moment. I am always at the right place at the right time. Time. Now, the last one I wanted to share with you before I share some other ones. This one is from my girl, Heather. If you guys don't know about her, she is Activation Vibration on Instagram and YouTube as well. She's absolutely gorgeous, inside and out, phenomenal. I love her. I adore her. And she started this new affirmation that she's been using her entire life. And she started to share it with other people. And now all these people are repeating it and posting it on their stories. So this affirmation has garnered a lot of really, really powerful energy. And because of that, you can tap into this energy and add on to that energy. And just as a collective consciousness, we can raise the vibration of this entire world and of our own individual experiences by using this. And that affirmation is, everything is working out best case scenario. Now this is such a beautiful, beautiful affirmation. It's one that I haven't heard before. It's because Heather made it up herself. And when I asked on Instagram, I asked all my followers on my baby Ellie's, what is your favorite affirmation? So many people wrote that. And I was like, that's so weird because I was actually going to share it and give her a shout out in this video. So this was kind of confirmation, like people need to hear this affirmation. Everything is working out best case, best case scenario is a lot like everywhere I go, I prosper and I am always at the right place at the right time because it's also, again, all encompassing. It means that whatever situation you're in, it's always going to work out. It's always going to be for the best case scenario, for your highest well-being, for your best self, for your most happiest possibility. Does that make sense even? Everything is working out best case scenario. I mean, this could mean, mean something different to everybody, but to me, it just means no matter what, how things transpire, they are working out to the best of their best possible scenario, which is exactly what it says. So I don't know if I even explained that well, well but just repeat it after me and you're going to feel the vibes from it. Everything is working out best case scenario. I will put Heather's at activation vibration down here and in the description below. Check her out. She's amazing. She's always reposting everybody who's saying it. I know she'll love the baby Ellie's. A lot of the baby Ellie's are already her part of her community as well. So that's really cool. Now just to end up this video with some more positive vibes because is there anything more positive and high vibe than affirmations than affirming a more positive, happy, loving existence? I don't think there is. So I'm going to share with you some of the ones that I picked up on Instagram from you guys. Thank you for sharing them, by the way. I think I received 300. So that is so beautiful because each one of you took the time to affirm your most favorite thing to say. And that's just such a powerful vibration raiser. So I'm just going to repeat them as affirmations. Each one comes from a different person. I am capable. I trust the universe and go with the flow. I am whole. It's okay either way. I'm going to rock today. I see opportunities everywhere. Today is going to be an amazing day. Very powerful first thing in the morning. I love myself. I am loved. I would never betray myself. I create all I imagine. I enjoy life. I'm worthy of love. I am free. I am open. Life loves me and supports me. I am beautiful. I am glowing with health. I am a divine spirit. Abundance is my birthright. Everything comes to me easily and effortlessly. I am rich. I can afford it. Thanks to you. I repeat that all the time. By the way, I've changed that affirmation to I am wealthy because money is one thing, but wealth 
is abundance on another level. So now I say I'm wealthy, I can afford it. It's not better, it's just the next step. So you can go to I am rich and then when you feel like you've manifested that, it's time to say I am wealthy. I am pure joy and I radiate everywhere I go. I love that. I am kind and loving to my body. I am worthy. I am loved. I am lucky. I am stardust. I love that. I am grateful for every day I rise. Life is beautiful and amazing. I am powerful. I am limitless. It's so funny because a lot of these are from different people. All of them are from different people and they kind of flow with each other. That's very synchronistic and very in alignment. I am anything I want to be. I am wealthy. This person gets it. All right, that's it for today. Now, what I want to ask you to do is please share your favorite affirmation in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up to affirm everything that you learned here today. Affirm all the affirmations I shared with you and we will continue to together raise the consciousness. I feel so good right now. I know you feel it too. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you for spending time with me. And I'm going to put my camera down so I can do it with both hands because remember when I tried to do it with one hand, it wasn't cute. As always, until next time, keep your vibrations way, way, way up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>